If people understand the purpose of their creation and their existence on the face of earth, everything no. will become easy and simple. Allah okay. subhanahu wa ta'ala created us to worship him. And the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not just one kind of worship. There is the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by being grateful to him, by being patient, no. by seeking rewards from Allah, by being deprived. And as Ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah, he mentioned four things very briefly. There is commands of Allah, things that Allah forbidden, and there is the ata' wal man things that are given and things that withheld from the people. And all of these fours or four things, we are tested with regarding to them, to obey so the, the orders giving, of Allah. And the giving, the ni'am, na and the deprivation. Right. And actually Both the deprivation and the deprivation is giving. Yeah. And that's what the early generations of Islam understood, that al that the man'a is ata'. When you are deprived of something, mm. in reality you are given basically the ability being tested to be patient, to extract from you an act of obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by being patient. You mean it, it is given in a sense of giving him the opportunity to pass the test so that he will be given a greater grant. Right. Am I right? Right. And to be of a higher rank and in the day of judgment, really who is going to be looking back at this world? Mm. Where they be, you know, benefited or bestowed bounties from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with regards to the materialistic things or not? The matter is totally different because it's according to the good deeds versus the bad deeds.